you can now see an example of multi-level partitioning. I can have up to 15 levels of case end statements or range end statements. Here, we're taking all of our data in 2012 and we're going to partition it with each interval one day. 365 partitions right off the bat. Then we're going to come in and we're going to have a case end statement based on the order total. So, if we have January 1st partition, we're going to have within that partition all of the orders less than 1,000. Between 1 and 5, between 5 and 10, and so on. So, you're going to have partitions within partitions. So, in a sense, if you looked at a birthday cake and you said, I want to slice that four ways, and then I want to take one of those four slices and then slice it even further. That's what you have here. So you're going to be able to take, in many cases based on these queries, the thinnest slice possible. Now, if I query and say, I want to know what happened on January 1st, I'm going to get the big partition of January 1st, which is a single day. But if I begin to say some creative things like, I want to know what happened on January 1st, for all order totals less than 1,000, they go, ooh, an even thinner slice is queried. And this is going to be even faster. Remember, partitioning is designed so we don't do a full table scan. We take as least amount of data as possible when we're running these queries. And you can see why multi-level partitioning can be so important on big data when you know exactly what the users are going to query on. Here's a visual of our multi-level partitioning. You can see our January 1st partition and then within that partition a bunch of sub-partitions. I've labeled those A, B, C. That's not exactly the way it works, but I want you to be able to actually see that data. And then we have the next day's partitioning and within that the different level of order totals. That's exactly how I want you to see this data. And imagine if we just wanted orders less than 1,000 on January 1st, ooh, one slice across all those amps, and that data is coming back very quickly. I want to see all orders that happened on January 1st that were over $20,000. Bingo! This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information.